Hi guys, it's Janet. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a huge haul for what I would call patriotic decor. I've been doing some shopping and the stores are killing it with like 4th of July patriotic decor. I am having a couple of events, so I'm having like a barbecue and I wanted to decorate the bar cart and then maybe a like small area in my kitchen and just sprinkle a little bit of 4th of July patriotic decor around the house. Nothing too crazy, so let's get started with the haul. I went to a couple of stores and I was actually thinking of breaking this haul up because it might get kind of long. So I'm gonna try to like go through it sort of quickly and not ramble on like I do. Let's start with my favorite store, Target. I went to the Target dollar spot and they had the cutest stuff. I don't even think I saw this last year and if it was there last year, I wasn't looking for it. So let me show you what I got. Everything is just so adorable and it's in the store right now. So if you wanna get some, you need to go to your store. Okay, first I got the cutest little bowls and they're just like serving bowls. And like I mentioned, I'm gonna have a barbecue. So I thought they would be really cute like to display, you know, I thought they would be really cute for the food. And I got two sets. So I got this one um, on my left, which says stars and stripes. And then I got this one on my right and it's just um, a striped, a white bowl with red stripes and then a blue bowl with white stars. I thought they were really cute and they were only $3, so basically $1.50 each. And then I picked up this sign that says USA in like letters. I thought it was just really cute and simple. I could probably put it out, I don't know where. I'm not sure. I'll share with you guys probably where I put it. And if I don't make a video of it, um, follow me on Instagram. I'll leave my name like below here somewhere. I post stories all the time, um, just like everyday life. So I'll probably post about, you know, my um, barbecue. So anyway, back to this, $3. I thought it was just super cute and I love it. Next, for the kitchen area, I just thought this was really cute. It's just some kitchen towels and there's a set of two of them. They were $3 as well. And so one is this like um, plaid, red, white, and blue plaid. And then this side is white with red and blue stars. And then it has like a little fringe at the bottom. Super cute, like I said, three bucks, you can't beat it. And then I also got some oven mitts, the same print as one of those little kitchen towels. And these were $5, so you get two of them. Okay, next I picked up this really cute little, I don't know what it is, like a vase. I, I'm assuming it's like a vase is probably how I'm gonna use it. Maybe put some flowers in there or straws or something, but it's just a white little vase with red and blue stripes. Also at the Target dollar spot, they had these little mini popcorn containers, but I don't know if I'm gonna put popcorn in there. I just like picked them up because I thought they were cute and would go with like um, the red, white, and blue theme. Next, I picked up, this was not in the dollar spot. It was just like in the normal Target area, but it's, a garland and it was only three dollars so i thought it was really cute i'm thinking of putting it on my bar cart uh, when we have our barbecue and then we also have a pool so i bought some i guess they're beach balls yeah beach balls and they're red white and blue so i thought they were really super cute and only three dollars okay so go like that <laughs> I am having a barbecue like I mentioned and I don't wanna go too crazy with like all everything like stars and stripes. So I picked up these cups and I just thought they went with like my theme and they are also red, blue and clear. So I thought they were cute and they were only like $3. And next, this is back to the Target dollar spot. Sorry, they were hidden under something. But for $3, I got these little serving spoons, which I thought are really cute. Like if you're doing some sort of like potato salad or just like a fruit bowl, I thought they were really cute. Okay, the next couple of items I actually bought last year and I had them in like my 4th of July like storage bin. And I thought I would share them because if you don't wanna buy anything right now, but you know like you're gonna want something for next year, go to the clearance section after, I guess it would be after 4th of July. Um, but everything was so inexpensive last year. I picked up these two balls, which I forgot I had. 
and that's why I got the other ones. But there are these two also beach balls. So I might return one of the other ones because I don't need four, I don't think. Um, but two or three is fine. And they were only 90 cents on clearance and regularly $3. So um, yeah, look out for the clearance after the holidays are over or the holiday that you wanna shop for is over. I always do that every single year. And then I scored these plates as well and they were $3 each. So I would have paid $9 for all these plates. Um, but I paid 90 cents for them and they're just like super cute star shaped plates and they don't have them this year so I apologize you won't be able to get them but I definitely recommend that's what I'm saying look at the clearance because I paid less than three dollars for um, all these plates. All right we're chugging along let's move on to the next store. I went to Michael's and I actually was trying to do film a shop with me so I took some video of that and then people started coming around and I was like, oh, forget it. So I'm just doing a haul instead. But they had so much stuff and maybe I'll insert some of the footage there I was taking. I just think that Michael's really did so good in their 4th of July patriotic decor this year. And so let me share what I got. I actually didn't go too crazy. Um, there was a lot of things I wanted, but I knew I didn't need. And I wanted to go really neutral or just like very minimal, like, 4th of July stuff around the house. I don't want to go crazy like I do for like Halloween or Christmas or anything like that. Just like maybe my entryway would have some decor. Um, and like I mentioned, a spot in my kitchen. So, okay, now I'm going to really show you what I got. All right, the first item is this Sunday bar sign. And I'm thinking of making a like Sunday bar section in my kitchen. I have an area that like I always decorate with every holiday. And I was kind of not really knowing what to put there. So I thought maybe I would do like, just like decor of a Sunday bar. So I thought this sign was really cute. It was $20, but everything was 50% off. And then on top of that, I had a coupon that was 20% off even sale items. So um, I probably paid like $8 for it. And then going along with the Sunday bar, I thought I needed some bowls and I got these and they were $3 each plus like the 50% off and then the 20% off, so really inexpensive. Um, I thought they were really cute. I would just stack them, something like so maybe, I don't know. I ended up getting some other bowls I'm about to show you, so you guys are gonna have to tell me what bowls you like better for my Sunday bar, but um, this is from Michaels, and maybe I could use these for something else, I don't know. I just think they're really cute. So there's four of them, there's stripes, and then there's stars. And then I love this little cup. It's definitely like a malt glass, so like a milkshake cup, I would call it, or, you know, yeah, it's definitely a milkshake cup. And I thought it was really cute, so I might use this to dispense some of the straws that I'm about to share with you guys that I got somewhere else, but, um, yeah, I'll definitely make a video of the Sunday bar, even if it's like a really short video. I'll share with you guys like what I come up with just because I think it'll look cute. Or I'm hoping it'll look cute. And then last for Michaels, I just bought these little toppers. So I don't know. I was thinking I could put them like, use them at my barbecue or make cupcakes. I don't know. They were really inexpensive. They were $2, 50% off, 20% off. You get the idea. Okay, the next store I popped into was Tuesday morning, and I normally don't shop there, to be honest with you. Um, I just don't ever find anything that I love there, but it's right next to the Home Goods, so I just went in and I found two things that I'm gonna share with you, or maybe one thing. Let me talk. Okay, it's two things. So I got this really cute sign that just says America and I'm thinking of putting it outside at my door with, I have this wreath that I made like three or four years ago. It's been so long. I'll link that video below because it's like a tutorial of a um, mesh wreath and I still use it to this day. So I was thinking of adding this out there next to it and I just thought it was really cute and inexpensive and I like that it's white. So I really like white um, with just like sprinkles of the red and blue. 
and the sign was only $6.99. The next item that I found at Tuesday morning is so cute and if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I love nutcrackers and when I saw this one, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have it even though I don't really know where I'm gonna put it yet, but it's this guy and it's so adorable. I mean, I just had to, I don't know. I was thinking maybe of putting it on my mantle and having like, I'm looking at the mantle, having a little bit of patriotic decor, perhaps, I'm not sure, or just my entryway. I don't know yet, but definitely stay tuned and I'll let you know what I do with it. But I just thought it was super cute. Okay, the next store that I went to was Home Goods, and I love Home Goods so much. I just feel like the quality of Home Goods is just so good for the price. So I got a few things and I'm gonna share that with you. Okay, the first thing that I got at Home Goods, I walked in and I saw this, and like I mentioned um, earlier, I really like neutral colors with just like a little bit of color in them. So I picked up this little sign and it just says America and home of the free because of the brave. I thought it was really cute. It was only $5 and I was thinking of using it at my Sunday bar because I was thinking of the Sunday bar when I was picking it out, but then I found the Sunday bar at Michael's. So um, I don't know, I'll find a place for it. I just think it's really cute and neutral. And then the next item I picked up at Home Goods are these ice cream bowls and I got three of them and I just thought that they were really cute. I don't know which one I'm gonna use for the Sunday bar yet, if I'm gonna use the ones from my dogs in the background, sorry. Sorry, Sebastian wants to be in the video. No one's home, so he's just like all in my business right now, so just ignore him if you can. But these are the ice cream bowls, and I just thought they were really cute, and I'd probably stack them like so um, at the Sunday bar area but I don't know, I haven't decided. So it's gonna be these or the other ones I showed you. I'll put them next to these in a second, but these were $5 each, so I only bought three of them. And then let me get the other ones. Ooh. Or, or the other option is these, which I've already showed you. And um, I guess when I'm setting it up, I'll decide, but or my husband will help me decide, but I thought they were just both really cute options. The next item from Home Goods are these reusable straws, and I just think they're really cute. I might use them by the Sunday bar. I don't know yet, but they're these really cute reusable straws, and I just thought that they were really adorable. The last item I'm gonna share, I bought actually a long time ago. I've just had it in my garage waiting for it to be time to use, but I got it at Hobby Lobby and also they had really cute stuff at Hobby Lobby. Um, so, but I think this is the only thing I ended up buying. Here it is. It is this doormat and it was $17.99, but probably like 50% off of course. And I just thought it was really cute. I think it's gonna look really cute next to like the sign and my wreath and just kind of be like a little patriotic entryway. That's everything I have to share with you. I did buy a lot of stuff, so hopefully this video isn't too long. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe below, it would mean a lot to me, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye!